Yo, what is good dev guys? Welcome back. So in the last video, we created the logic to actually spawn our actor. Now we need to create some functionality so that this spawner can spawn our actor on a timer. And to do that, we're going to need a few things. So let's close some of these classes that we don't need. And let's go to our battery spawner dot H and in this protected section, let's go ahead and make something. This is a new, this is a new class or a new type. This is a F timer handle. And basically these timer handles uh, are a, a way to cache the timer that is in use. You can create a timer handle at runtime. So that means I can create a, a timer handle in these functions and just have it as a, uh, a local variable or a member variable to this function. But when it comes to having some dynamic functionality, you want to have a cache variable to that timer handle. That way, if you want to clear the timer sometime later on or in a different function, you have a function that clears that timer, you need to have a the same handle to that timer. So um, we're going to create that handle here is a struct F timer handle. And it's going to be called our spawn timer handle. And uh, we need a couple of float values. So I'm going to put them right under here. And they will be U properties. So U property. Oops. We want it to be edit anywhere. Because like I told you guys, we're not going to make a blueprint class out of this uh, spawner class. So we need to be able to edit this spawner class anywhere as well. Uh, we can say blueprint rewrite just in case we do create a, or in case you create a, a blueprint version of this class. And let's put it in a category of spawner as well. And um, this is going to be a float and this is going to be our min spawn delay. And go ahead, copy all of this here because we need a max spawn delay. And it's basically the same setup, except this is going to be max spawn delay. And now we need a private variable that um, we can set our random spawn time to. So this is our and we don't want this to be adjusted anywhere else. We want this to only get set inside the class. So let's call let's call it our random spawn delay. And it's pretty much all we need there. So let's go to the, the CPP file and we're going to set some base values for our min and max. So get the min spawn delay and set it equal to I want to say half a second and then and I forgot my F and then our max spawn delay we can set it equal to uh, five seconds and now in begin play this is where we're going to start our timer so as soon as the level is ran our timer will start and our timer it's going to do a few things. It's going to take in a random value and it's going to call this function. So our spot timers have a lot of functionality built into them. They're really, they're really convenient for, for uh, gating things inside of Unreal Engine. But here we're just going to use it as a, a, a timer to spawn things. So um, the first we need to set our uh, random spawn delay float to a value. So let's set this equal to F math and rand uh, F math rand. Oh, sorry, rand range. And if I'm not mistaken, hold on. Um, yeah, this 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 function takes floats as well. So let's pass it our min spawn delay. and our max spawn delay. And now this 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 value we're going to pass into the uh, the function that we're going to create right now. 
So the way to get to the timer is you have to get the world that we're in. And then we need to get the world timer manager or get timer manager. And in this timer manager, we can do a few things. We can tick the timer. We can clear the timer. We can set the timer. We can check if the timer exists. There's a lot of functionality that's built into this. And you can also just look into the docs um, to read more about these functions. But the one we want is set timer. And if you press control shift space in Rider, it takes in a timer handle. And we're actually gonna be using this uh, variation right here where it takes in a timer handle. It takes in a reference to a, a, a class or object. And then we pass it the function that we want it to run. That's what this is. The function that we want it to run. And then we give it our uh, in rate. And then we say if we want it to loop. And um, so let's, let's fill in that data. So our timer handle is our spawn timer handle. Our uh, class is this class. That is our reference object. And our, I believe our function, and this is gonna be confusing to some new Unreal users, but our function, we have to give it the address of our A spawner battery base. And we want to give it the address of this function right here. And that's what this ampersand in front means. Uh, this means the address of wherever this function is located on this class. So wherever this function is saved in memory on this class, uh, pass the address of it to this function so that this timer could find it and run it. And we also want to give it our in rate, which will be our, our uh, random spawn delay. Excuse me. And then we want to say false because we do not want this to loop. The reason that we don't want this to loop is because we want this random spawn delay to run every time. This is every time this timer is called. And since we're only doing it here in the begin play, this value will get set once. It'll get the begin play only gets called once. So in begin play, we'll get a random spawn delay and say that value is one. And then this timer will get called and take in that random spawn delay. And if this is set to loop, this random spawn delay will always be one second. It wouldn't really be a random value. So uh, go ahead, copy this. And at the end of our spawn battery function, we're actually going to call this logic again so that we can get a new random value that'll call this function. And it'll, this is kind of a loop here. This is how we get the loop going ourselves here so if we do an overview here we'll get our random spawn delay time say it's one we'll spawn uh, or we'll call our spawn battery actor uh, function pass in that time and then this function will run and it'll spawn that actor and then this will get called again and then it'll make a continuous loop until you stop playing the game or your character dies so let's save that and let's go ahead and build the project. Okay, successful, bu successful build. You'll understand that sometimes if, if when you hit build here, especially Unreal Engine 5 in this early access stage, if you hit build here and it doesn't build, in less than a minute, uh, it's either your system is slow or you, you have an error and you need to go in and uh, go here and build this solution by itself just to find that error and fix it. But let's go ahead and run the editor and let's, uh, let's place one of these spawners in the world and give it some, give it the actor that we wanted to spawn and see how it's gonna work. Okay, so I have the editor open here and I'm gonna go to my, oh, whoa, whoa, what did I do here? Um, I don't know why that did that. I'm gonna go to my content browser and I'm gonna go to here to my C++ classes, battery collector, go to my public folder, go to my spawners folder and I'm gonna drag one of these spawners inside of the level. 
and you see this spawner this box is very small so um, that's the one thing we want to change so let's uh, click on our if we go to our details panel over here and click on our spawn volume which is our box let's let's change the values of this extent um, also let's delete these classes that are in here we don't need them right now but yeah let's click back on our uh, spawner and uh, if uh, let me let me just right here I'm gonna get it into I'm gonna click on it inside the world outliner and to to help with not being able to click on this damn line here I'm gonna make the thickness of this line five so it's really thick real thick you know what I mean like Danny says <laughs> What is that what you do? <laughs> but uh, yeah, so let's uh, let's make this like 800 on the X and 800 on the Y so that we can encompass a lot of the level. Maybe maybe a thousand on the Y. Probably more than that. Yeah, maybe uh, let's just say 2000 to be safe. That's probably too big now. Oh, no, that's perfect. Okay, so we're encompassing this whole section here. We probably could encompass the entire level. So let me just um, do that. Yeah, we want these to spawn all over the level. And now, if we click on this, uh, the the main name of the class, let's go ahead and give it our actor to spawn. You see underneath our spawner folder, we have our actor to spawn. We want to spawn our battery pickup no i'm sorry we want to spawn our bp battery not not the c plus plus version but the blueprint version so now let's go ahead and um i'm gonna go ahead and play the game in the selective viewport and let's see if st stuff starts raining from the sky oh they're raining from the sky boys one's over there yeah they're they're falling I'll probably have to make the spawner a little bit higher. Yeah, it's it seems like it's a little low, so you can't really see the, the fall. Can't really see them fall that well. So maybe make this a little bit higher here. Let's play again, see what we got. All right, there we go. There's our first one. There's our second. There's our third. Or oh, you seen that one? All right, so now we got that spawner working. I probably will change this max spawn delay to like three seconds because they spawn and kind of slow. You know what I mean? So I, that's the reason we make these editable anywhere so that we could change these values inside of the editor inside this details panel. Uh, so. Yeah, we're at a good spot. Uh, tune into the next video where we get some more functionality working with the the batteries. Um, I have to double check and see what we're going to do. But uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.